and the butcher's daughter. For Darren Kilpatrick, the hive. And uh, this is also Noel night. So, lots of people milling around. Don is the head of illustration at the College for Creative Studies. And he does woodblock, letterpress, but these are oil paintings. He's also an illustrator of children's books. You can hear him talking in the You know, in terms of yeah. from your sketchbook. Yeah. Yep. Everything in here is, is from yeah. is from that from the last ten years. Because at first I thought they were tarot. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like it's kind of like the matching game that's impossible. You know? Like nothing's meant to really match up. That's cool. Maybe. That's Don. He's the one who's <laughs> talking about his work. <laughs> I've already told my audience about your illustrious position at the College for Creative Studies. Studies. I would say all of them. Oh, this is very interesting. <laughs> really nice, clean show, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Intriguing too because of the narrative on the wall. Oh, you have? Okay. We are the bees of the invisible. We wildly collect the honey. We wildly collect the honey of the visible to store it in the great golden hive of the invisible. I really like looking at intriguing statements anything that makes me think
Butcher's daughter used to be in Ferndale, as you might recall from some of my other shows. I did one of Don's exhibits there a couple of years ago. And now they have moved to Midtown, which as we also know is <laughs> Cass Corner. Let's take a look outside so that you can see what the gallery looks like when you come down to see this show. This is Midtown at night on Noel night. I thought I had the marching band. There's a marching band over there. And then this is the outside of the butcher's dock. A clean, well-lighted space. The proprietor, owner, and muse is Monica Bowman. is Don Kilpatrick behind the butcher's daughter. 